So I'm going to assume that you've installed UDK and UE4 and that you've downloaded your model. Um, there should be links to all of those in the description, so if you can't find them, just go there. Um, so uh, just first things first is to extract the UModel folder. Um, I'm just extracting it to my desk because I'll just keep things easier. Um, what you want to do is open up UModel um, and then navigate to your Smite folder. Um, in my case, it's C high res games, battle game. Um, and we'll just go cooked PC for now because that will get us pretty much everything that's in the Smite game at present. Um, and as you can see, there's you know environments for all the bits and pieces that make up the maps, there's effects, there's NPCs, but what we're interested in is characters and gods. Okay, so um, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking for Cuckoo because favoritism. So you just type cuckoo up here and it'll show all cuckoo and all of the skins. Um, and if you want to double check you've got the right one you can double click on it and you'll get a little window here that shows you everything that is in that particular project file. Um, so if you use page up or page down you can cycle through the assets and you can see there's cuckoo's textures. Um, if we keep going we'll hopefully get to his model. Yep there it is there. Um, don't worry that it doesn't look right yet, we'll fix that later. Um, and if you press Control A, you can actually cycle through the animation sets. Um, that's for his projectile, so we're not interested in that. Just press it again. And there we are, as God Coco can. Um, and you can use uh, square brackets to cycle through the different animations. So for example, here's the taunty mode, and then you hit space to play. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what's contained in there and what you can get out of it. Um, but for now, go to back to open package, um, click on Google Can again, hit export. Okay, that should export that out. Um, and let's just grab the textures down here while we're at it. Um, and also, you know, you can do this for anyone, obviously, not just Cuckoo. Um, so we're actually done with your model now. Like, it's a great program, but that's all we need it for at present. We can close that out. Um, so if we go back to our UModel folder um, and go to UModel export, uh, you'll see all the stuff that we exported out. So there's Google Can, there's his textures, um, those will be other things that are related. Um, for example, the Cuckoo material might use uh, different assets pulled from other packages that aren't necessarily Cuckoo. Um, that's why they're there. Um, so. If you just open up your Cuckoo folder and go to Skeletal Mesh, that's what we want there, kukulcan.psk. Um, so what we need to do now is open up UDK. Oh, that's YDK. Um, UDK Editor. Um, and I'll jump cut this so you don't have to wait for it loading. Okay, so uh, UDK is loaded and it looks something like this. Welcome to UDK, blah, blah, blah. So we close that um, and you'll see this little content browser screen and you'll see a little sample project behind it, but uh, ignore that because all we need to do is hit import. So click import here. Okay, uh, and we're gonna go to our desktop, uh, UModel, UModel export, and back to Google Cam, um, skeletal mesh, just as I said earlier, we need the PSK. Because uh, that's a skeletal mesh, obviously. Uh, double click on that. Um, import. It doesn't really matter what the package is because we're really just looking to export it from here. Um, so you just hit OK. Um, and we now have the mesh of Google Can um, all rigged and such and pretty. Um, uh, but of course, it's not any use to us until we've actually got some animations on it. So what we want to do now is go to File, uh, New Anim Set. You can name it whatever you want, so I'm just going to say Cuckoo1, hit OK, um, file again, import PSA, so we're actually going to import the animations that are present in Smite, um, once more back to that UModel folder, um, Cuckoo, but this time we're going to go to Animset, um, and there's quite a lot here, so you know that's for his ult, that's for his tornado, his projectiles, but what we want is just plain old uh, Cuckoo can, that's it there. And just give it a moment, or several moments. Right, okay, so now you can see Cuckoo's in his idle pose. Um, that's a good indication that it's worked. 
if you go up here, let's make that a little bit bigger. If you go up here to Anim, you can now see a list uh, ooh, which shows every animation that Kuko can, ooh, Kuko can has. I'm never going to get that right. Uh, if we go to Idle Com, that's his in combat idle. If you press play here, it'll show you. Um, so we want to get this out now, out of UDK and into UE4, so it's very, very simple. Um, just go to File, Export FBX Animations, um, and let's just put this to, yeah, let's just put this in our new model for now. Um, idle Combat, uh, and it's going to ask, would you like to export the current skeletal mesh with the animation? And that's yes, because um, if we don't, we'll just get um, the animation keyframes and no cuckoo. Um, so let's that's you know that's all right let's just also get say the feared which is quite an amusing animation um stick that in the same place yep um and these are in the fbx format which is a really common format that a lot of different things use um you know 3d engines and game engines and stuff um and there's this dance too so let's say we get the dance out as well um so we're actually finished with udk now um that's literally all we needed it for, um, just for converting over. Um, and you don't need to save anything because we're not going to come back to UDK. Um, so if we go back to our UModel folder, UModel export, you'll see that there's the dance, the feared, and the idle combat, and they're all in the FBX format. So we can now go and open UE4, um, a UE4 project. Um, and I've already done that, but for you, you'll just be opening your epic games launcher um yeah come on you'll be navigating to your library um and select any of your projects um if you haven't made anything and yet there should at least be a default project there but in our case i've opened up this little map that i made before which is a um may recognize it if you've been playing smite for a while it's uh, the season one arena map um and just as an example, I'm just going to show how you might import that into your project. So, doesn't like that. Um, so, first things first, just make yourself a new little folder uh, just to keep things. I'm going to call it uh, Cuckoo Can. Oops. Um, okay, so go ahead and open that. Uh, and we want to import our uh, animations. That we exported out so let's start with the idle combat um, and as far as the setting goes uh, you want to enable uh, import animations here otherwise you'll just get the mesh you want skeletal mesh you want import mesh that should all be default that should be the only thing you have to change really but just in case um, and then just hit import uh, it might take a wee while depending on how much of a potato your computer is I'm using a laptop, so you should be fine. Um, okay, so um, we now have a Google can. We have a default material for him, um, and we have an animation. So if we just want to uh, grab that little animation here, you can drag that into the scene. Um, and as you can see, looks like Cuckoo, stands like Cuckoo. Um, if we hit the play button, uh, just for an example, Ooh, uh, and run over to him, you should see he will be looping that animation um, for now. Um, but you can also, if you wish to import more animations in, um, I suggest you do it this way. So go to import, um, say we're getting feared in. Now, uh, see here you want to disable import mesh, because if you don't, you'll import pretty much all that again. Just for the one animation but if we disable import mesh then we're just importing the animation and we make sure that to keep it in this folder because then it'll, it'll basically bind to that skeleton the existing cuckoo skeleton it's just import um so as you can see we just just got the animation in and uh nothing else so if you were to drag that in you've now got cuckoo feared um and then again his dance emote Make sure to disable import mesh, import, and you don't have to do these individually. You can can click um, multiple, as many as you like. Um, just make sure you disable that mesh uh, option. 
Um, and if we go and hit play again, for some reason he always starts around the corner. I should really fix that. Um, you can see he's playing uh, the animations. Um, and in a part two, I will show you how to do the materials because that's a little bit more tricky. Um, but still e easy enough that I can do it, so you can definitely do it. Um, uh, so you've got those into your map now, and I'll also do a tutorial at some point about how to use the cinematics and how to get it to play stuff. But overall, that covers getting it from Smite to UDK to UE4. Um, as you can see, very easy process. Um, and hopefully with further tutorials, I'll be able to show you how you can also make little cutscenes alike to the ones I've been making. Um, and possibly I will get around to sharing these maps as well if people are interested, because um, I know people would probably like to have their own scenes. Um, yeah, that's just Nox and uh, Ra having a romantic moment. I don't know why. Um, but yes, uh, that concludes the tutorial, and I will do a part two because the materials are a little bit more tricky. Um, and that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, of course, just put them in the comments, and I'll try and get around to answering them in a wee bit. Um, and that's us.